going to quickly show you with this website how you can manually check for your competitors keywords so of course there is just going over this and scanning it with your eyes manually so going here you know checking into their courses or their services you know literally just going through here so what i would do is like blog business plan that would be one business plan business plan workbook business challenge and even do these you know because you may be surprised Income goals, don't care about that. That won't serve us right now. Okay, latest free webinar. Free webinar. Latest free, web Oops. free webinar. E courses. And you can even do, uh, you know, her title too, Purs Pursuit with Purpose. Pursuit with Purpose podcast. See how popular that is? Entrepreneur tips, blogging tips, social media tips, income reports. So you guys see how I'm doing this? Like I'm just going through and I'm picking out all these little keywords and keyword phrases in here. And then of course you can go to courses, you can see, you know, the the products that they offer. And then here's the trick. Control U. Now control U allows you to see into their code so we can actually see what their title is here melissa griffin entrepreneur blog tips so she is optimized for these two words the most entrepreneur and blog tips and sometimes you can also get to see their description down here the nectar collector uh, collective helps bloggers and creative entrepreneurs stand out online and grow their income so she's got her brand in here and we can also research that just to see how popular it is the nectar collective bloggers and creative entrepreneurs now i would split that up into two Although, let's leave it as one, and we'll do it as two as well. And two more. So let's just see, you know, how, how these keywords play out. So there you go. 
Um, that is a very easy and simple way. And look at all these, these keywords that we were able to gather from her website just by manually going through it, right? Took a little bit of time, but nothing too long and tedious. And you can keep going from here. You know, you could look through their blog if you wanted to. I usually steer clear of the blog posts because um, people can create blog posts on tons of different topics, even if it doesn't close, you know, even if it's not directly related with their their um, their main topic. But usually whatever they use, whatever words they're using right within their website, like especially within their little widgets and stuff like down here, those are the terms that you know are their main go-to keywords. So that's why I just look for the main content on the site. Maybe I go to their about page, but um, I usually don't look into their blog too much to, to do competitor keyword research. online business journey maybe that's one probably doesn't get too much searches but we'll throw it in there anyway well, that's about it so that is manually checking a site or your competitor site for keywords